To start a new career in marketing or to advance into a more experienced role, you need to develop certain skills. I wanted to learn exactly what those skills were, so I conducted a little study. I started by brainstorming a list of marketing skills that came to mind. I quickly realized that there are a few types of skills to think about. Marketing specific skills, soft skills, and platforms like Google and Facebook. I also browsed various blogs, forums, subreddits, and Quora posts, resulting in a list of 52 total skills. So there you go. The 52 skills every marketer must master to advance their career. I'm just kidding. Now that we have our list of skills, I want to try and answer a few questions. Number one, which specific hard skills are important for getting an entry-level marketing job? Number two, which hard skills are important for advancing your marketing career into a more experienced role? And then number three, which soft skills or non-marketing skills are important? To do this, I'm going to use an online job board called Flex Jobs. I picked this one because it has a bunch of filtering options that I believe will help with answering these questions. I started by counting how many entry-level, experienced, and manager job postings were listed under the marketing category, and then counted how many job postings contained each of the 52 skills on my list. Now this is by no means a statistically relevant study because there's a few limitations with how I'm collecting this data. Number one, this search doesn't consider alternate spellings of these skills. For example, PPC may not include job postings that list it as pay-per-click or Google search ads. Number two, this is a tiny sample size and in no way representative of the entire market. Place. Number three, there's no weight to determine skills that employers place greater emphasis on. We're simply counting their occurrence. But this isn't an academic paper, so I think we'll manage. Here's what I found. The dark cells are skills that appeared in at least 20% of the job postings. There was a smaller concentration of important marketing skills among entry-level jobs, which is the opposite of what I would have expected. This means most entry-level employers are more frequently looking for just a handful of key skills. And this is great news for those looking to start a marketing career because you can focus on learning fewer things at first. More than half of the jobs across all experience levels listed analytics and reporting among their top skills which suggests they're universally valued skills for any marketer to have. I think most people intuitively understand the importance of analytics and reporting. However, I personally believe they're overlooked and that most marketers don't actively seek to improve them, myself included. It's crucial to understand whether or not your marketing strategies are actually working. And not just documenting the numbers, but actually understanding what the numbers mean and how to make decisions based on them. Strategy development was found about two times more often in experienced and manager jobs than in entry-level jobs. And this is understandable because strategy requires more experience to understand what you can prescribe. This also means that learning strategy is a key opportunity to advance your career once you're already in the industry. And so what exactly is strategy? It means you're the person deciding what platforms, tactics, and messaging to implement to achieve your or your client's goals. It's not just implementation, but actually knowing what to implement and why. Lead generation was surprisingly a low demand skill for entry level jobs, but moderately important for experienced and manager roles. I think this is surprising to me because much of the work that I've done throughout my marketing career has been related to lead generation. But I guess that's not necessarily true for most marketers. It's possible also that the term lead generation is simply not used in the job postings, but rather implied as part of other marketing skills such as content marketing or digital advertising. Email marketing was very important and close among all experience levels. It may come as a surprise to some that email is still considered an important tool, even after decades of use, but what this data seems to suggest is that email is a priority for many companies, and that email marketing is an important skill for marketers of any experience level to improve upon. I was curious to know why email is so important to companies. And this is just speculation, but I believe companies value having a direct line of communication with their audience, which is possible with email. Other channels, such as social media platforms, own the data and have ultimate control over the distribution of information to the platform users. In other words, email provides a more predictable line of communication. I was still curious to learn which components of email marketing were most important, so I drilled down a little deeper, and here's what I found. Email strategy, design, and analytics are key skills among all marketing roles. Email strategy is something I personally believe many marketers overlook. What they simply do is set up an automated weekly email or monthly email and call it a day. So I encourage you to really put some time here and learn how to develop a robust email strategy, which is going to really wow your employer. Subject lines were almost exclusively reserved for entry-level positions. So this is likely an area that's worth exploring if you're just getting into marketing. Whereas email deliverability tends to be a larger focus for experienced and manager roles. Learning about deliverability as an entry-level marketer may give you a competitive advantage over your competition as you grow your career. HubSpot, MailChimp, and ActiveCampaign seem to be the most prominent email platforms that were mentioned, although the sample size here was very small. 
HubSpot appears to be the most popular, which makes sense as their email tool includes a robust CRM that many enterprise companies use. Many of their tools are free too, so I recommend signing up for a free account and taking a look around. Overall, I noticed that high effort skills tend to be more common among entry level and experienced roles rather than manager roles. This makes sense as the more senior you become, the more you start to focus on higher level tasks rather than implementation tasks. But these high effort skills are a great place to get your foot in the door. Content marketing was the most common skill overall, although it's a rather broad topic. It might be worth living on the cutting edge of content marketing trends to position yourself as a valuable asset to many companies. Teamwork, communication, and organization are the most frequently mentioned soft skills across all experience levels. These types of skills may be more difficult to develop than hard skills, but it's worth thinking about examples of how you could demonstrate these skills in an interview. For example, if asked about a time you made a mistake or experienced a conflict with a colleague, you could explain the situation and then demonstrate how you learned to use communication to overcome the problem or to prevent it from happening in the future. There's a lot of overlap among soft skills that are important for all three experience levels. What's obvious is that all three experience levels mention at least seven soft skills 20% or more of the time. What this means is that they're important and that you should think of concrete examples for each one or think about how you can gain more experience practicing them in your day to day life or in your side hustles. Google, Facebook and LinkedIn are the three most important platforms above YouTube, Instagram and others. So which one should you focus on? From what I've seen, a more experienced role may look for somebody who has deeper knowledge into a specific platform, whereas entry level roles are more open to people who have less platform experience. What I'm really looking for when interviewing candidates is do they have experience using the platform themselves? And do they have an ability to demonstrate how they solved a problem while running or managing a campaign? More times than not, candidates share surface level details about setting up a campaign, the kind of stuff that you could recite from simply reading a blog post. And this doesn't give an employer confidence that you will be able to actually manage a campaign yourself. So try to gain at least a little experience yourself so you can share some specific examples. Okay, so now you know which skills you need to advance your marketing career. The next step is actually developing those skills, which is why you should watch this video right here where I show how I developed my skills and started a marketing career with no experience.